G'day folks, Jay Neal here, Best One Cleaning and Pest Control. Just going to go through a bit today on what to expect um, and how do you choose a good carpet cleaner, a quality carpet cleaner. Um, look, when you call a carpet cleaning company, you should be asking them these things. Does it include a pre-stain treatment or a shampoo? Does it include spot cleaning as you go? And does it include deodorizing and sanitizing? You'll find generally with the cheaper companies none of that's included right, and the other thing you want to um, ask about is what type of machinery and what method clean are you doing are you doing a dry clean are you doing a portable hot water extraction that's where the machine comes into the house do you have that type of machine or do you use the big truck mounted machine the proper steam cleaner because if you want a steam clean the only machine that does a steam clean is a truck mounted machine, regardless what anyone will tell you. There is no such thing as a portable steam cleaning machine. Some of them have heat, um, heat elements in them. That does heat the, the water up, but it certainly doesn't get it up to steam temperature and it can't hold steam temperature. So you, then they're just um, hot water extractors. They're not as powerful as a truck mounted machine. So you need to know what method you prefer and and what method that particular company is going to do so just ask them what machine do you use is it a portable machine that comes into the house is it a dry cleaning machine or is it a truck mounted machine that doesn't need any of your power now the other thing is how do you find the right carpet cleaner how do you know which one does a good job that we can all say we do a great job over the phone we can all say we're going to use this we're going to use that and it's all good but you don't know generally until they get there and they start doing the job but one way you can sort of find out is go on to Google if you want to find out about a company you can use our company name as a, an example you can put best one cleaning and pest control in the search engine for Google and just put at the end of it bad reviews and then it will just list a whole heap of bad reviews about my business it will also list the good reviews um, and so whichever company you want to use you can put their name in and then just put bad reviews at the end of it and it will generally pick up um, any bad or good reviews about that particular company um, and you can read them have a look at them see what people have been saying the other thing to do is you can look in the places section and you'll see um, when you do a search under carpet clean there's a little places section there with a heap of companies in we're one of them that's there um, you'll see we've got quite a few reviews um, and customers do ask me they say look your reviews are they real now look Google track these reviews when we get a review put up by a customer Google track them via their IP address okay so I can't sit here and just make up a whole heap of Google accounts and go and write myself good reviews eventually Google will catch up with that and they will wipe me from the internet so I wouldn't take that risk it's just not worth the risk to me so some of the companies are doing that some of them have been penalized for it and the ones that haven't eventually will be you can generally tell the companies that have made their own reviews up because when you click on the reviews they've just got the word a google user all right generally with google reviews the people that are writing the reviews put their full name in or they've got some sort of a username and some of them put a profile picture up there so that's you're going to get more of a mix of that with the real genuine re, uh, reviews if there's just got a google user you can more or less say that that company's just been sat there writing a whole heap of um, good reviews about themselves so you know there's some little tips on how to um, find the right company and the questions to ask when you're on the phone to them before you get them to your house. Okay, so I hope this video has been of some help to you. If you've got any questions or comments, you can post them down below and we'll see you on the next one.